and please welcome to the white corner, Max Cooper! When he starts fighting, he just keeps going forward and... <laughs> pounding his opponent. It's there and... Uh... He never stops, he doesn't go backwards. He's getting a count yeah. in there. And again, if he doesn't start... He's always on the front foot chasing the opponent down all the time. Pressure yeah. on. They're not big shots, but it's no, just keeping them going. Again. Max Cooper. I'm 16, three-time world champion kickboxing. Been doing kickboxing for about nine years now. It's like a big part of my life. I thought I was first interested in kickboxing when my dad took me down. It was my seventh birthday, so it was like a birthday present. He took me down. I had like my first class, and I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, from there I just I went more and more often. I went like. I started off two days a week, then I went three, and then obviously where I am now to like 20 plus hours a week. I like holding pads for people and taking one-to-ones. I enjoy like them improving, like me watching them improve because of my skills that I've, I've taught them and stuff. I like just generally hitting the pads in the bags just because it's just like a good way to just like release endorphins and stuff. When Max was born, he's always been energetic, really lively, aren't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. Always wanting to do things and moving and active. So he always wanted to do something. It was hard to wear him out, wasn't it? Yeah, to yeah. he always wanted to. a lot to of energy. Jumping off things, weren't it? Moving yeah. and active. Uh, so I wanted to get him involved in some, some type of activity. Um, and luckily martial arts came up and he, he stuck to it like a duck to water and that was it. He really enjoyed doing it, didn't he, from, yeah, yeah. from like day one. And the cheese. Oh yes, please, I like cheese. Cheese please. Here you go. Thank you so kindly. I mean, that one smelly cheese. Smelly cheese, smelly cheese. I love it. What's your last exam to my match? Uh, I've got DJ. And then sports trees. And that's your last mock exam to me. Yeah, they're my both last ones. I think I get my results on like the math one should be next week sometime. Yeah. And then English will probably be like two, three weeks afterwards, because English takes a while. Yeah, right. At that point when we find out or realise that Max was autistic, it wasn't a difficult decision. It was very much this is what he wants. And again, it's having an autistic son myself, it, there's a, like a little soft spot inside me. So I were even more determined to help him. Not push him, not, you know, make him do anything. It was like, is that what you want? Yes, it is what I want. Right, this is what we need to do. So when certain people will find things naturally, then they only have to do it 10 times. Max, you've got to do it 50 times. And he's like, yes, and then away he goes. Me. How he sometimes processes information, what's being asked of him, it became apparent, you know, when he was make, seemed to make the same mistakes at, yeah. at the gym. And then when we realised that something wasn't quite clicking, wasn't quite right, it's, it's then, OK, so what do we do with this? How do we go forward? How do we maximise what you've got? Obviously, we had to change the way that we um, talk to him and, you know, take, 
take that on board that how he actually understands the information more than likely not how we um are expecting him to perform so you're having to think of new ways that you can actually get him to do instead of uh, just saying the so, same thing yeah. over, over and over again he's just finding that right way round to, to telling him how to how to do something trying to just say where most people just pick it up and like this is the way to do it where max needs a little bit of a coaching side in is it, is it you know, and then but then it, when he gets it he gets it and he's you know he's switched on but then I think, to be fair, Dale has been uh, oh, so, yeah, from, yeah. you know, he's been great in that respect. For me, the biggest thing up to this point has been repetition, repetition, repetition. Max wasn't gifted with the ability to move himself in such a way. So I, <laughs> I've had it at times where I've literally thrown him a ball to catch. Being autistic and being a kickboxer, there's obviously some struggles like just understanding like little little points that I might not get where an average person might a little bit of communication skills like even just talking to people in the gym sometimes that may become hard for me but I think it's you can always overcome it and it's just a thing you've got to live with. So a little simple things like that and then transferred that into other aspects of his training. The physical side of it He's always had the bug for it. You know, if I say 10 press-ups, he's doing 11. You know, uh, I tell people to go, go and do an extra run or do that. He's always one that doesn't need to be told to do that. Like even to this day, he will do his training within the week uh, and he's with me probably three to four hours per night, every night, uh, apart from Friday and Saturday and Sunday. And in that time, he takes himself to the gym and he'll do two or three hours uh, at the gym go swimming, lift weights, do some extra cardio. His work ethic is insane. And I think that is, again, as you say, it's a spectrum autism. And he's just got little different aspects of it. He's very determined. He has got an addictive personality. Well, you get fixated on something and they just, just want to run with it. This is my um, third degree black belt test. This is the most recent one I've done in um, 2022. And it's just like a really big achievement to get this. Um, like I'm really happy about it that I've carried on my training to get to this point and then obviously now I'm going for my fourth in um, 2024 in May. This was my first fight, um, I think this was uh, when I was nine years old, so a good, that was me there and that's um, the other opponent, Connor. Uh, it was three rounds, three, in a, three rounds, one and a half minutes each. You see me really young there with my shorts and my um, all my stuff on. I think he had a couple, I don't know if he had a couple more fights as well. So that was good, you know, having my first fight against someone who'd already had a couple and then um, beating him. I went up to Newcastle to see him, which was quite a rough place. And uh, he, he did really well up there and beat their lad, which they weren't very happy about going up to Newcastle. But it was a, it was a good night. We came back and had a bit of a celebration. Even though it was a long drive, we were all tired. We had, I think we had a little drink and he had... Max's uh, autism is his superpower. Because he's, he's got that determination and that drive. I'm definitely excited about Max's future. If he continues on at this pace, he, he could go quite far in the kickboxing industry. 